When you think of Casio, the decade that springs to mind is the 1980s, an era of simple electronics like calculators and digital watches, or digital watches with calculators on them. What doesn't spring to mind is a Japanese electronics company that has found a profitable niche for its product line and the financial discipline sorely lacking in rivals like Sharp and Sony. One constant at Casio since the 1980s is the company's flagship G-Shock watch, a digital tank that continues to sell well around the world and especially in developing countries as the company has added features and colors and design elements. The fanciest models of the G-Shock now retail for upwards of $2,000. The company makes an unlikely financial success story, especially since its revenues have fallen by half since their 2008 peak. But Casio has been ruthlessly disciplined about how it spends its money, shying away from capitally intensive and highly competitive areas like smartphones and displays, and focusing instead on niche electronics like calculators, cash registers, and watches. The stock has rallied sharply, and the company is now worth north of $5 billion. Casio has made the most of the present, but the hard question, as with every company, is the future, especially in the era of Apple, the smartphone, and now the smart watch. Is Casio a technology company? And if so, what is its technological edge? Is it a fashion company? And if so, how long will its fashion appeal last? Retro appeal can be very profitable, but it does not last forever. Robert Armstrong, Financial Times, London.